I'm Kayla. And I'm Kaylee. And I'm Cody. Ah, and you are watching Roswell Recap. Ooh, Umbrella Academy Edition. Woo! Our first edition of Umbrella Academy. Oh my god. Oh, can you believe it? No. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right. And you guys are probably wondering, who's this bitch down here? Oh. Well, he is an amazing guy. Yes. Do you want to tell us about yourself? My name is Cody. I am the bitch that is new here. Yes. <laughs> yes. But we love it. Love it so yes. much. I'm here. I've uh, known Kaylee for several years now. We share many interests in common, and mm -hmm. uh, she thought that I might have some insider things to say mm -hmm. because I too am a big fan of the things that Cafe Crashdown covers such as sci-fi, horror, all that Heck good stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one of our bonding experiences Kaylee and I had was our love of the band My Chemical Romance. Mm -hmm. Perfection. Yes. Which brings us into Umbrella, Umbrella Academy. Academy. It's really full circle, guys. It it's is. beautiful. Full circle. It's beautiful. It's exactly, exactly what Cody said. Like, it just feels right <laughs> to bring Cody in on this because he yes. deserves to be on something like this because he knows so much there's so much in his head maybe too so, much maybe <laughs> but we love it so we're, we're so happy to have him yeah any way to bring more nerds in you yeah. know more sci-fi nerds the better absolutely yeah so here we are episode one umbrella academy yeah entitled oh. we only see each other at weddings and funerals ain't that the truth mm -hmm. yeah we were mm -hmm. saying right before we started filming how it even sounds like of my chemical romance song. It really does. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've been reading Umbrella Academy basically since it came out. Yeah. And it was like 2008, 2007. It's like, been a while. it's been like over 10 years, like, waiting for some sort of adaptation because it really felt like it lent itself mm -hmm. to whether it be a movie or a television show. Like, it's a whole thing. And, you know, superheroes are big right now, but it's right. totally not... This uh -huh. is not Marvel. No. Like, it is totally it. its own oh, yeah. thing yeah. with kind of... There is a little more of that sci-fi mm -hmm. elements to mm -hmm. it. Um, um, yeah, bringing in that dimensional travel is like, yes, that's like my favorite. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's... Yeah, there's all kinds of fun stuff. And I'm going to try really hard to keep it about what happened. I might say things are different, but I'm going to try to not be spoilery. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to try my best. Yeah, you'll be <laughs> acting as our expert, because yes. I haven't read the any of the comics. Yeah, this is our expert. Either. Yeah, yes. Kaylee is mm -hmm. the pro here, so um, any questions we may have, yeah. specifically, we will refer to you. Yes, for that, is, that is within the realms of spoiler-free zone. Yes, Because exactly. obviously I won't tell you what happens. Yes. However, next. if you are watching this, you should have at least watched the first episode because yes. we're totally going to spoil it yes. right now. Yes. yes. So mm -hmm. be warned, full spoilers on the Netflix adaptation. Yeah. If you haven't watched it, then stop watching this. Go watch it and then watch this again. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you should do. Yeah. So should we just get it right in? I think we should get right in. Let's do it. Okay, yeah. let's do like maybe an overall thoughts yes. first. Yes. Yeah. How are we feeling? I really enjoyed it. Uh, I'm. I wasn't sure what to expect. Really, I all I really watched was the the two minute trailer that came out a little while back, and I really was drawn in by the the visual aspect of it. Um, I didn't know too much about the comic beforehand, aside mm -hmm. from essentially that Gerard Way wrote it, and that I read the basic kind of the log line of way a lot of people kind of tried to sum it up in the quickest way possible is just kind of yeah, like yeah. X-Men if Professor X was a dick. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. And, well, it's it, so true. It's that and I've always kind of thrown in like Watchmen in there. Yes. It's like X-Men I was totally going to bring up Watchmen. Yes. Oh my god, yes. Like it's that you know, because it has totally that mutant vibe yes. but it's so like dark and twisted. Yes. 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 So, so, so yeah. Watchmen. Yeah, I was drawn in well, I just already with the source material based on the people behind it and the premise i like comic books and i like that the, that type of storytelling but yeah i was just very interested in just the visual style of it, it really popped in the trailer so yeah that kind of drew me in and i thought it was a very good first episode it established all the characters very well 
brought you into the world without too much exposition, I felt. Yeah. Kind of just dropped you in. This is a world that's been going on for a while now. Yeah. Doesn't give too much preamble and just kind of lets you pick up at your own pace. So, um, and yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a very good establishing of the world and the characters left me wanting more. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I thought it had a lot of interesting aspects, both with the characters and kind of just the the meta text to it both mm -hmm. in what you need to know about comics and the comic book world and even some of the casting which mm -hmm. i can get into whenever but yes yeah. Yeah. we'll get into that yeah yes yeah okay good so you liked it what about yeah, you yeah i really enjoyed it especially like filming wise it was very like there were so many things like very wes anderson mm -hmm. meets um, like i can't think of the person but the guy who directed legion um, no Holly. Yes. I noticed that as yes. well. Yes, and like coloring and just very much about like verticals and all these shapes and dimensions. Like, I just loved, love, love, love that. Like the coloring was just so stunning. The colors. On the yeah. show. Beautiful. One of the things I noticed, one of the behind the scenes things I was going to mention is I noticed in the credits some of the um, producers who I'm assuming are also writers on the show uh, had previously worked on season two of the Fargo oh, adaptation, that which Noah Hawley makes worked on. So a little sense. bit blending yes. of worlds there. Uh huh. Okay. So yeah, definitely. Um, and yeah, and you mentioned Watchmen, and that's another vibe I totally yes. got. Kind kind of that darker, more realistic side of superheroes. Because I, mm -hmm. I mean, because Marvel, it it's it like a dream comic where like yeah, hard things happen, but like. It's just not real life. Whereas I feel like Watchmen did an incredible job with just like really showing like real people, like shitty people, you mm -hmm. know, and life just beating them around. And that's basically where you find these kids now. Mm -hmm. They're yes. adults, they've lived their life, and they're all in completely different paths. And they all come together for uh, death, which it was like in Watchmen. Yep. Um, yep. So a lot of parallels there. I really loved all of the characters. I thought they were all really fun in their own way mm -hmm. and really different. And yeah, I'm just curious to see, like, what the heck's happening? Like, yeah. this is really fun. <clears throat> totally. I totally agree with everything. No, I'm just kidding. I hated it. No. Um, <laughs> oh, well. No, I, the whole time, I was, like, on the edge of my seat, like, waiting mm -hmm. to see, like, what pieces were going to happen. Um, what's really interesting is, like, things are kind of happening, like, out of sequence. Mm -hmm. Like, certain things, I'm like, oh, that doesn't really happen until later or, you know, whatnot. So I'm interested to see how it's going to piece together because it does it's not like a shot for shot like look at the comic and you can like follow it there's already things that are different there's like yeah. from the beginning there's been things that i'm like what like things that were not issues are issues so i'm really interested as like what's that's gonna be like there was and this isn't a spoiler because it's totally new but like in the comics like i don't remember luther like basically accusing any of his siblings of murdering mm. hargreaves yeah. it's very much mm -hmm. just like he died of natural causes oh. and it's not really a thing and the monocle does not go missing i was gonna say mm. i noticed I, I i put that down in my notes of like one of those little things that seemed important to the plot that i might have forgotten about if i weren't taking yeah. note of it because they yes. made a big point they of like yeah. the monocle is missing and then it's <laughs> not missing yeah. at all in the comics that i remember i mean just reread them but i don't remember there ever being anything like that so yeah. it and but i think it's interesting i think it yeah. is an interesting thing it makes sense for diego to have it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i don't know about Diego doing anything to Hargreaves? I don't know. Um, but they're doing kind of their own thing, so yeah, I, yeah. I can't really mm -hmm. predict what they're doing with it. But um, it does kind of add a little more mystery to yeah. it, which is always fun to kind of be like cracking it down. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so yeah, overall, I'm really excited to see where it goes. I love the development of the characters. Like, they all feel pretty right. Um, Vanya's the only one that's not... It's like, I love Ellen Page. And, like, she's... I just always saw Vanya's way angrier. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like, in the comics, like, she, I mean, she wrote this whole book about, right. like, yeah. her life and how, like, it sucked, basically. Basically, like, they just put her down all the time, like, you're just boring and ordinary. Right. You like, don't have any powers. Here, you, you stand over here and count our time or whatever. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And so, in the comic, she came off as way angrier. <laughs> but maybe they're just going to let Ellen kind of build with it. Yeah. yeah. She can, and, she can do rage pretty well. I've right. Seen her yeah. Roles, yes, and hard yes, candy and, yes. and things like that. So. Exactly. Yep. I'm sure that I'm sure that she'll get there. Maybe they're just like, we'll just let you be kind of yes. sad and small, mm -hmm. and as you mm -hmm. you know learn things or as 
you know, your life progresses, you can get a little more. Yeah. So she has more of that arc. I'm curious so too, So that's yeah. probably why. But that was really my only, like, not nailed on the head. Yeah, yeah. I but. Was, I was curious about that too, because I was under the impression, based on the trailers and just that it's Ellen Page, that she would kind of be the central character. And in the first one, she didn't really have a lot to do. She was just kind of there witnessing everything in the background, which makes sense from a character perspective, because yeah. that was kind of uh, Banya's role, mm -hmm. it seems. It's just yeah. she's the one watching, so therefore yeah. Ellen Page. So yeah, I yeah. thought that was interesting, too, that like your biggest name star in the show for your first episode mm -hmm. is just kind of uh -huh. sidelined for most of it. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm interested to see if they go with what's supposed to happen because yeah. um in all of the promotional things i have not seen any inklings of because i mean they're all pretty central mm -hmm. but yeah. things that i know with vanya i haven't seen any inklings of so mm -hmm. i don't know if they're going to do them or wait or what yeah, so. yeah i am really curious about her character because for one it's like is she going to be kind of like taking on this like like watcher and like leadership role kind of like what her dad um, was to them. It's like she, he was kind of training her anyways to kind of be that. Um, well, technically because she didn't have skills or whatever. She's um, ordinary. Yeah, she's ordinary. Um, but then, and maybe I imagine this because this was just a quick glance or a quick watch, but um, when he had the monitors on them when they were yeah. sleeping, I noticed that her beeping was louder and way more Da, 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 mm -hmm. compared to everyone else's and mm -hmm. I didn't know if that was going to be a thing he seemed to be taking special note and I thought it was yeah. interesting as well in that from what I gathered from what the other characters were saying and from the flashbacks Vanya was always just kind of written off as just like oh yeah she's just normal yeah, she's ordinary yeah. so the fact that Hargreaves was taking such special notice mm -hmm. of like monitoring her sleep mm -hmm. made me think that's the thing is like is she actually like really dangerous actually Possibly, yeah and he's just trying to keep her contained. It's almost like a Professor X and Jean Grey thing yeah. where he tr got into her head and blocked certain things in her memory and stuff so that way she couldn't act on them. So yeah. it's like, I wonder if it's something like that. Like, I don't know. I just noticed yeah. that and I'm like, that's interesting. And why would, if she was ordinary, why would he be monitoring her? Mm -hmm. He was monitoring them all. Huh? He was monitoring all of them. I know, but again, like, if she's just ordinary, like, why even monitor her to begin with? So. Because he's a psycho. <laughs> it's, I mean, he is. He is. I just, I'm just saying, I don't know. Maybe I'm hopeful for something. I just want Ellen Page to be super badass. I was going to say, yeah, I, I feel like <laughs> just from stories I've read before, that, that seems to be a thing of, like, and I, I, I could, it could end up being wrong, but I feel like you don't say when they put such a big emphasis on, like, they don't have powers, they're not yeah, ordinary, yeah. it's when going to pay end off up in something. some way. Yes. That ties in again, too, to something, another She's comparison. She's a violinist. That's really yeah, special. That is, that um, is a power. Are you saying that violinists aren't no, special? And that <laughs> music, oh my gosh, was stunning in the beginning. Yes. So um, beautiful. The fact, so this is just, like, a personal thing for me, but with Umbrella Academy being as important to me as it is for the first like violin song to be phantom of the opera <laughs> yeah. a medley of it a medley of phantom yeah. of the opera when i'm like the biggest musical theater nerd and like i freaking love phantom and like mm -hmm. i was literally like are we for real yeah. Yeah. Are, yeah. is this really happening they're like, like blending these things together yes. like i loved it because that was another <sighs> another early bonding point between us was musicals so. yeah true <laughs> yeah. It, this, it feels very right for cody to be here with me right now <laughs> um yeah so uh yeah i'm really interested to see what happens with vanya yeah, yeah. Do you feel that with certain changes in terms of introducing things earlier, um, is that something you think serves a narrative purpose or in terms of just like the the medium, with it being a different medium, you it's not something that's as easy to push off? My The example that comes to mind for me, I know, is uh, the series The Magicians. Yeah. In the mm -hmm. book series and the TV series, there's one character and story that isn't doesn't arrive until the second book but they had to bring it to the beginning of the show just yeah. by nature of otherwise certain actors or certain stories are just going to like not be present at all right, for, right. for the whole first season so. um i mean it's kind of early to tell mm -hmm. but definitely with some of the things like so with number five at the diner Yes. That's like a big thing. That doesn't happen until pretty near the end of Apocalypse Suite, which is the first like arc. Okay. 
Um, and you don't see any of that fight in the comics. It's actually a big thing that, like, you're not supposed to see, like, what uh, happens. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, and you don't find out really, you know, like, you see the aftermath. Yeah, yeah. And they, like, they interview the, um... The, the lady? Yeah, the lady. And it's, <laughs> God like... God lover. Yeah, and it, it's, like, a thing where she she just says, like, they just left and said, thank you for the coffee, or, like, <laughs> something <laughs> like that, like... It's real. It's like a funny moment, but yeah. yeah, you don't really know what happened. And like number five, he, I mean, he is obviously mysterious, mm-hmm. but he's even more mysterious in the comics. Interesting. So they're kind yeah. of letting you know kind of what he's about a lot sooner. Actually, you don't actually find out the details of what happened at that diner until the second arc. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is straight up, not even just jumping comics. No wonder comics. you're like, oh, what's going yeah. on? <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I know that there's characters that they haven't introduced yet. That are only that don't come in until Dallas. That are okay. gonna that they've already shown like these yeah. are characters. So they're obviously like blending the two arcs, which I guess like it sort of works. But then I'm like, are you not planning to do a second season? Because mm-hmm. there's only mm-hmm. a third arc is being written right now. Mm-hmm. Got it. So if they're like just blending Dallas and Apocalypse Suite, Hotel Oblivion's not done yet. Okay. So I'm just kind of like, we what might, are you thinking? If we might end up in a in a Game of Thrones right. situation. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Granted, these oh, characters no. would be super fun to play with. Yeah, and exactly. Yeah, for sure. There are lots of, like, flashbacks. We've already seen a couple. Yes. Mm-hmm. There's lots of flashbacks in the comics that show them, like, working together, like, when they were younger, obviously. So, I mean, they could even take a lot from that because the flashbacks are, like, a page. Like, okay. they're not super yeah. long. It'll just be, like this happened yeah um so they have already kind of elongated Mm -hmm. a lot of those flashbacks Mm -hmm. and given them people a lot of people didn't realize what rumor's power was the first arc which one is rumor because i believe they only gave us the numbers um, allison allison yeah so i i heard a rumor and then so whatever she says happens okay um and People did not understand what her power was after reading the first one. Okay, Because yeah. they never actually showed it. I wasn't oh, even okay. sure. Yeah, I put mm-hmm. in my notes, like, uh, Allison, power of suggestion? Yeah. I wasn't yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's literally, she just, she'll say, I heard a rumor, and then whatever oh, she okay. says, it happens. Okay. So that's how she got famous. So do they all know? Basically. Have... Well, because that's what she said. She's like... Basically, like, she made a wish, and it came true, and she really wished she wouldn't have made that wish. Yeah. Kind of all a thing. Right. And yeah. I'm assuming that's... That's that. Is that life, probably? Um, or is it something else? Well, they don't really talk a lot about her life in the comics. Like, this is all kind of... Kind of new. It, yeah, it's like the comics are super, like, plot-driven. Mm-hmm. And, like, there are character things, but it's a lot of reading between the lines. Yeah. yeah. So, it's just super different in terms mm-hmm. of trying to dissect it yeah. um, but I like everything that they've added to flesh them out a little yeah. more I think that it really adds a lot to it yeah because I did notice they, they did make the brief mention of something about along the lines of she had a, a, a Patrick part- and Claire yeah yes. a partner in a yeah. that's true she was estranged from yes. that, that's, in, that's in the comics that's a thing okay. that she's yeah that her and Luther have that whole conversation okay. and also she picked up that locket and it had A and L on it mm-hmm. and I was like Oh, is that Luther? Like, because there was kind of something little. I noticed you feel that a little, as well. Did you feel a little I something? did, and I, I was like, a little, huh. like, oh, there's there's something there, some past little. Mm. Yeah, they ain't mm. related. It's true. It's fine. Yeah. Well, not really. <laughs> I'm. I guess that just depends on how you feel about it. It ain't blood. But yeah, it's blood. <laughs> it's yeah, still. they did grow up together. <laughs> I it's guess a that's little kind of like. Uh, Barry and Iris on the Flash, where they grew yes. up together. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly that. It's I exactly feel like Game that. of Thrones has just like ruined me now because now it's just like none of that stuff phases me anymore. Just well, that's worse. way different. They're <laughs> actually related. No, I know, but that's what I mean. Like I've seen worse. Yeah. So like me hearing about like Luther and Allison, I'm like, oh, that's nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's cool. Yeah, I, that's fine. They're not blood. Right. <laughs> we deal with crazier shit. It, true. Very true. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> There's the big uh, dance sequence to Tiffany, yeah. which I loved. That dance sequence was so great. It's and so especially with, because it, obviously this episode is dealing with a death. Yes. Which is a hard thing to deal with. Uh, like, even if they weren't, like, peace. emotionally attached to him, like, it's still a person that was a part of their lives yeah, for their 20 dad. years. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for all intents and purposes, yeah. their dad. Yeah. And so, 
you know, it's going to be kind of heavy. So it was really nice to have that kind of, mm-hmm. it was almost, especially like the song choice is very like, we're not living underneath him anymore. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah, we yeah. can be free. We are alone in that we don't have to worry about him and we can just be ourselves. And they all could just kind of let loose, even if it's only for that song Yeah, yeah. to kind of, have almost like a celebration of we made it, yeah. we're good, yeah. mm-hmm. here we are. Here we are, living like, in my moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. It was really cute. Yeah, and it was really good character work in that just all of the dancing styles spoke to those characters. Yeah. Vanya was just yes. kind of reserved and quiet, yeah. mm-hmm. and Klaus is just all oh, limbs whatever. going out there. And yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was really interesting. I have to, we have to talk about the music because yeah. what fantastic choices. And yeah. I wouldn't expect anything less from Gerard, of course. Right. Like, yeah. you know, they were going to pick some amazing music, but yes. really, like, all of it was just wonderful. And so varied. Yeah. yeah I mean, you totally. had simple yeah, piano, yeah. like a yeah. more like a traditional score. Yeah. yeah. And then you had, you know, I think we're alone now. Yeah. You yeah. had mm-hmm. a fan of the opera. Like, and the, the in- Istanbul song. Yes. You know? yes. They might yes. be giants. And then yes. it opened up, too, with uh, the Kinks, which, yes. again, ties totally. into the whole, like, aesthetic we noticed with Wes Anderson. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so mm-hmm. yeah. lots, a lot of variety, but all feel very fitting. All of them seem to kind of be of, if I'm remembering right, aside from like the bank sequence, all of them were from a certain era. I believe they're all songs from like the 60s to the 80s or something uh, like uh-huh, that again. of uh-huh. just like stuck from a certain time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. that yeah. feels yeah. not right. A couple of flashbacks, but yeah, it was a lot of, there wasn't really too many aside from the the dancing and then the the fight in the the donut shop there yeah. wasn't too many big like set pieces it was more just kind of mm-hmm. dropping us into the world which yes. i liked i yeah, like that it's kind of just like you know you're gonna we're gonna get way more yeah right. you know yeah. so this was nice to just have that character development yeah and because obviously there are seven of them and so it's like really getting to know who these kids are and the yeah, other dynamics and stuff because obviously the world's ending in yes. eight days. Woo! Yes. Oh yeah, you know, Woo! no yeah. big D, oh. no kind, big deal. I kind of like that too of just how you get the thing of just like, oh, the world's ending. I saw when it was going to end, and based on those stories, you're going to think be like, oh, it's going to be like however many months from now. Like I don't yeah. know, about a week. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the fact that he doesn't immediately come back that, and say, guys, we was, have eight yeah. days. Yes, that was my thing. It's like hilarious. he legit, like comes back and he's like, yeah, I saw the future was shitty. Like yeah. it sucks. And then yeah. he like goes off and does his thing. Yep. And then yeah, he like waits the whole day and then gets to Vanya's like, oh, actually. And the world ends. Yes. When yeah. I went there, it, like, it really was gone. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's, it was hilarious. Um, oh, I love, too, because when they're, like, outside the funeral and Luther and Diego are fighting, he specifically is like, we don't have time for this. And yeah. he walks out. Yeah. And so it's very, like, he knows, like, yeah. listen, we only have eight days here, people. Yes, but he's, he's not letting like anyone know. Yes. So it's really, really uh, funny. Only Vanya. Only oh, Vanya. She's got to put the coffee on. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, it's my long night. I know. Yeah. We must figure this out. Yeah. Attention, class. It's time to award this week's honor roll. This is the member of the Umbrella Academy who really stood out and made their mark. This week's honor roll goes to number five. Who else could we give it to when they made such a humongous entrance and epic entrance? made their mark gouging eyes in the donut shop ordering coffee black just like it is and really he deserves it because he's the one who's leading us forward he knows what's to come and he's kicking things in gear getting Vanya involved bringing the team together again hopefully and that's why this week's honor roll goes to number five so number five has given the death sentence for earth mm-hmm. so on the bye same- bye earth we're gonna dive into that mm-hmm. now. I don't know if he's gonna. T- they're gonna tell the others right away, maybe. But yeah, so we're gonna find out more about that clearly. Um, I'm trying to think what else would. What do you guys think? Yeah, I feel like we're gonna settle down a bit just based on the Netflix model they're planning for most people to kind of just go through quickly. So I feel like right. they, they, it'll usually be a case where will maybe take an episode or two more just kind of world building and yeah. settling mm-hmm. into yeah. that. So I'm expecting it to pick up maybe in a few, like around yeah. episode three or four, and then really kind of dive mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. based on, not, not to be talking about like 
a show and like a story in such clinical terms, but based right. on the Netflix model. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it seems they kind do have of, a model for yeah. sure. They do. <laughs> a literal algorithm for how they program their <laughs> yeah. shows. Yeah. But do you think um, the whole Klaus thing, like, we're gonna find out even more about that with Ben, or do you think they're? I probably hope gonna so. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of that's kind of my wish is yeah. that sooner rather than later just because that's really what i'm just dying to know yeah Yeah. is just give me something about ben please like i'm so ecstatic that they have made that like a thing yeah that he can talk to Ben. yeah Yeah. like i love that yeah so yeah i really hope so um yeah and i guess it is it's just kind of figuring out i don't want to say too much because I because I don't want to forecast anything I know. Right, 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 right. But um, I'm interested to see how they're gonna do of the world is ending. Like, how are yeah. they preparing for yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I don't know if they're gonna do the same sorts of things or if they're gonna do something different. Because they've done a lot of different things, yeah. so they could totally go in a different way. And if they're blending Dallas in with Apocalypse Suite, which they already are, um, if they do more blending of that and some of the characters from Dallas. Like, it's it, anything could happen. Yeah, truly. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm stoked. Yeah, yeah, me too. I just want to get more into the characters and just spend more time with them. One thing I'm really hoping they do is, uh, I think would be fun to do, is just kind of give each character a little spotlight each episode while moving yeah. the story forward. One one thing I noticed, I think I told you, is just kind of scrolling through the episode titles. One of the, I think, episode five actually is called Number Five. So I'm kind of hoping it would be nice to see a thing where each episode has their own little spotlight character yeah. while furthering the story. Yeah, right. Which, they could totally do. Yeah, which and it would be in line with Netflix. I know, re, uh, like probably my favorite show of last year was on Netflix, The Haunting of Hill House, and they did oh, yeah. a similar thing where each episode kind of had their own central character who they focused on, mm-hmm. but at the same time it forwarded the story right. around it. So yeah, it would be kind of. I think that would be neat to have each episode kind of focus on a different character. Now that we've met them all. Yeah, the story right. gets forwarded, but yeah. we kind of see the world through that character's eyes. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think would be really mm-hmm. cool. That would be awesome. I'd be totally down for that. Yeah. More Pogo. More, More Pogo. Pogo. <laughs> Heck yeah. More mom. Mom. More all of them. More yeah, I just all love them. We just happy family. Yeah, ha- <laughs> yes, yeah, like a big just... group hug. Yeah. Can we just have a group stop, hug. Stop fighting. Just bring the family <laughs> together, please. Yes. Just bring them together exactly and now it is time for the kill of the week very lethal around here so this guy man killing it on honor roll and now just killing it in life and slaying it number five he is the winner of the week that donut shop man all those guys were being slayed demolished he just tore that place up he was kick-ass, had some great little like teleportation and like moving through dimensions and stuff. It was just awesome. So number five, you are the slayer of the week. Well guys, thank you for joining us for our first episode Ooh. recapping Umbrella Academy. Oh my god, the Umbrella Ooh. Academy is here! Ooh. It will be on Mondays. And you can also catch Kaylee and I as we do Rebel Recaps on Roswell, New Mexico. Ooh. Ooh. And that's on Thursdays. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We do love our Roswell Recaps on Thursdays. But a double dose, oh. I'm here for that. I know, right? <laughs> and uh, Cody, thank you so much for uh, joining us yes. on this journey. I'm so excited I'm to see what happens. I'm excited too. Oh. Can't wait. Oh. We need to start learning some new moves. Do some, yes. be some numbers of our own. Yes. Maybe have our own academy. <laughs> Numbers eight, nine, and ten. Yes. Coming at you. Coming at you. Oh. Coming at you. <laughs> uh, one episode, we'll just like create our own superhero. <laughs> yes. Like, and we can be eight, nine, and ten. Oh, perfect. Like, done. See you, season done. two. We're ready for you. Come here. Come on, Netflix. <laughs> We're here. We're part of it. Woo! Hey there, sci-fi fans. Ooh, hello. You know what you need to do? You need to click subscribe to our channel. That way you can catch us every Thursday for what? The Roswell Recap. The Roswell Recap. We're going to dive into some of our favorite sci-fi television shows oh. and movies. What? And some that we've never seen before. Oh, Lord. You know that you guys can actually tweet us at Cafe Crash Town and let us know some of your favorite TV shows and movies that you recommend for us to break down. Mm-hmm. And after we watch them, 
we will either thank you for such a great pick or curse you for a shitty one. So recommend at your own risk. Mm -hmm. We will be live tweeting on Tuesdays Yes. when we're watching Roswell New Mexico on the CW. Yep. And you can catch us with the hashtag CW Roswell Recap. I'm sorry, wait, what did you say? The Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! Roswell Recap! Oh, oh it's the Roswell See Recap! See you Thursday. Oh.